Hi there, I'm Jamie Keat and welcome to Teachers Tech where I explore technology weekly. And this week I'm exploring OneNote, more specifically on the iPad and showing you how to connect your Google Drive to OneNote in order to pull that information to, put, to make some great looking notes. If you're like me, most of my information is stored in, in Google Drive, but I really like uh, this uh, note taking application and it's all free from Microsoft. You just need, need a Microsoft account. So uh, anyways, I am have my OneNote open here and I'm just going to jump right into this. I have some pages where I'm going to show you some examples uh, already set up. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on the first page and I'm going to insert uh, starting off a PDF printout. I'm just going to click on the page and once I click on the page you can see all the icons light up. I'm going to click on PDF printout and just to let you know I am using the Apple Pen so when I write something I'm not using my finger. I just find it way easier to use this device with the Apple Pen. Uh, I'm going to go over to locations because it's not iCloud Drive I'm after, I'm after locations and you notice I don't have any uh, anything else that pops up so I actually have to go to more to set up my Google Drive this first time. So make sure you have Google Drive installed on your uh, iPad, you have to have that. So I'm just going to click on more. You can see I have a couple apps uh, installed there but they're not turned on. I'm going to turn on Google Drive and go to done and now this time when I go to location you can see uh, the Google Drive image comes up. I click on it. It's going to bring me to my account and I'm in. So uh, just for these examples, these are just uh, templates I've created inside Google Drive. And so if I click on the case study, it's a Google Slides. And what I really like is uh, you don't have to convert anything to PDF. So usually you have to put PDF into it, but it will take all your Google documents from Sheets or from, uh, from Slides or Docs and just automatically accept it as a PDF. So what does it do? Well, now I can see all this information uh, in here. I can zoom in. I'm stretching out my fingers or closing them to get to a certain part. You can see the actual file where it says PDF uh, case study. I can click on that and delete it. I don't really need that anymore, but I'm just going to leave that there. So this is the part I like. Uh, let's say you're Scrolling, th scrolling through, you're at a meeting or uh, you're just watching a, a, a presentation and they've shared the document with you and you want to take notes and this way you'll never run out of uh, room with your notes. So maybe there's something on this slide that's important. Uh, so if I uh, just click anywhere on this, uh, I'm going to go over actually to draw. Now when I draw, I'm going to go uh, just uh, select a pen. I could change a different color um, uh, that or increase the size of my of my uh, pen width and everything. But so what I'm going to do is maybe I just need to mark uh, an important item. So a star, I'm kind of on a funny angle on my iPad. So it's kind of hard to write here just the way I'm doing this presentation. Uh, so maybe I write important across it or I write other notes here. The thing what I like is so you can zoom out out uh, and I could write really small. Whoops, you know, and notice I marked that. I just have to be in text mode as I move thing move things again. I could even zoom in more and write more notes in it so I could always kind of go through making those uh, points in it. If I wanted to move something, all I have to do is uh, going back and draw. So if I wrote something on it, I go back to the last sue, I can select it and then I can actually move it out uh, move it to the side and you can actually make these, uh, you can grab the uh, corners on it if you needed to make something larger and show up. So you could, if it was a meeting, uh, you could just easily put uh, that information in and I like it, you never run out of information. Remember, this all syncs. If you're using OneNote on your computer, all that information will be back there with you. So if I go back, I'm just going to go uh, to insert Google Docs and I'm going to click on this real quickly and go back to insert. You can actually do this from file too. Uh, I'll just go to my locations, my drive. You can see uh, that I have the report doc. So think of this as being a staff meeting and maybe you're taking notes beside it. I put my report on there and it's opening it up. Only takes a second. And this time notice it just comes up as the icon, but that's fine because if I click on it, I can go to print out and then it will put the whole thing in it. So let's say if this was a staff meeting or again, if you're taking a course, you could kind of scroll through this and uh, make notes on this. So if I go, you need to be under your draw. If I go back to draw, I can write, oh, I need to pick a pen. I could write away on it. Remember, you can change the colors. 
If I use the shape tool, I can draw some nice looking shapes to make my drawings look a lot better. Well, that was a ter so terrible. You got to connect the stuff like that. Um, so uh, yeah, so you can take all these great notes and unlimited amounts of space you can move them uh, the other thing is that you can do and I'm just going to jump over to my computer let's say if you wanted a different way to uh, do your Google slide so you had some place to take some notes on the side I'm just going to show you that and we'll insert it back in here so now I just want to show you how to change your layout on Google Slides for maybe some better note taking. I'm just going to go ahead and open again these are just templates here I'm going to open up this consulting proposal uh, template and what I want you to try uh, if you want a place to write your notes on the side just like those print handouts if we go up to file oh I'm just being slow loading right now so I'll just let this load up here file and then we go to down below print settings and preview so it's going to go open in a preview kind of funny with this I actually had to reset my browser uh, on this a few moments ago because the preview wouldn't come up here so if you have a problem on your Windows machine uh, try resetting your browser uh, if, if that case in that case if it is happening like that so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, go to one slide instead of one slide preview I am going to go to three slides per page and it's going to load up a document with lines like this. I don't really want to take notes this way, so I want to change it from landscape to portrait. And then it will load it up again. What I'm going to do now is I have to, I can't, uh, I'm going to download it here as a PDF. And then what I have to do is I'm going to just, I'll show you in the folder here. And I'm just going to, where to go here, where's my, there it is. And I'm just going to drag it back over into my drive over here. So now I have this, this uh, case study uh, one back in my slide. And so I'm going to go back over to my uh, iPad now to show you how to insert this. So you have a better place to uh, write your notes. So I'm on my last example page here and I just need to click on the page. I need to go back to insert, go back to insert and I'll click on the page, hit the PDF printout, go to my locations to drive to my account and I should see it coming up right, where is it? It should be called right there, consultant proposal PDF. I'm opening this up. And you can see now right beside, if I kind of scroll through, I have these places to take some nice notes on the side. So again, if you're in a staff meeting, if you're uh, doing this at school uh, and you're using Google Docs, don't be afraid to use OneNote to combine because it's a great note taking app. So uh, if you're looking for a little bit more to understand how uh, the OneNote app uh, works, I have another tutorial coming out right away, uh, kind of starting from start to finish how to use it. Uh, so just take a look at my channel and remember if you like what you see please subscribe to my channel I do these weekly tech tips uh, share this with some people if you think it'll be helpful hit that like button thanks for watching and I'll see you next time